But the thing I want to focus on today is uh, a letter that a mother wrote to the people of Pelham, New York, which is where she and her family were from. And it was a letter that she wrote after um, the service and all that came with it for her son, John Gogan, who died in that battle. As we looked down at his dear face, we felt that the world had fallen in on us. He had fought in an action that was not termed a war. He had died thousands of miles from his beloved country. His blood and the blood of his men, whom he had loved so much, had now become part of the soil of Vietnam. And there were no bands, no parades. Just three desolate people standing beside his coffin. Behind us, a door quietly opened. Someone came into the room. It was a man. He knelt. He prayed. But that was the beginning of what one friend said later was a spontaneous outpouring of love. They stood straight and tall at each intersection with arms raised in a last salute. St. Catherine's Church was filled to overflowing. His flag-draped coffin rested at the feet of his God. This boy had loved people so much, he didn't care if they were black or white. If they needed him, he always came. Think about that. Somebody sends their most precious, their most precious son or daughter, mom or dad, brother or sister, off to serve. Never knowing what will happen, proud as they can be of the decision that they made, but worried every day about what the consequences of that decision might be.